Hello one and all, welcome to Seen Through Glass. Tony and I are going on a road trip. <laughs> We are so excited for this. A few weeks ago, QuickFit got in touch. They know that I've used their centers before for, for my F-Type, my 718 came and had a slow puncture once. I've even taken my 360 to a QuickFit. And as a thank you for being a loyal customer, I guess, but also because they're freaking awesome, they offered to send Tony and I on an adventure. They said we could pick the destination and pick the cars that we would take. So we are going to Ireland and we're taking Tony's Merc AMG GTR and his brand new 911 Gen 2 GT3 RS. Excited is an understatement. Absolutely. If that wasn't cool enough, QuickFit also said that they've been watching the videos and listening to the podcast and they know that whenever this man goes on a big road trip, he gets a puncture. You have bad luck. So today, unbelievably, they're going to be fitting fresh tyres to the Merc and the 911 before we head off for the Emerald Isle. <coughs> the, the Emerald Emerald. We need to brush up on that. Yeah, right? okay, right, <laughs> let's do this. So there we have it, fresh tyres fitted to the Merc and the Porsche. We're off to Ireland! <laughs> First time driving a Mercedes AMG GTR. When I get behind the wheel of the GT3 RS, it'll be my first time driving one of those as well because Tony and I are going to be swapping places over the next few days. And it should be quite an interesting comparison because whilst you could argue that the GT3 RS is a step up in performance, these cars are very similar in price. This car theoretically is a bit bit of me. Front engine, rear wheel drive, but still track focused. However, over the last year, I have fallen in love with the Porsche brand and that GT3 RS is just... <gasps> anyway, as well as uh, fitting us brand new tyres, QuickFit has also uh, given us a sort of tyre care, tyre health talk. I've also got them on speed dial, just in case Tony decides to do anything a bit nuts and bring this trip to a premature end. But all in all, we are so excited. We are headed now to Hollyhead, where we're catching a ferry across to Dublin, where we're going to stay overnight, and then tomorrow we set off to explore Ireland. We've made it to, to Hollyhead. Hollyhead. Hollyhead? Hollyhead. Hollyhead. I'm going to come here because I did a shallow focus to make it look all pretty and didn't realise you were going to be stood next to me. <laughs> um, anyway, quite a boring drive, about six hours from London. The reason we've come to this port is it's the shortest crossing, I believe. Is so, it? One minute, there were like 35 different routes to Ireland. I couldn't, isn't it? I couldn't figure it out. But this was like good timing and a short trip. And Anyway, MG, very, very bumpy. It is very bumpy. Very bumpy, but a very nice car to be in for yep. the drive here. RS looking and sounding incredible. It did sound incredible when you oh went through the tunnels God. as well. But this is just, this is just like the travel day, yeah, the sort yeah. of prep day. We're getting the cars ready, we're getting across to Ireland. Tomorrow's the proper adventuring where these cars can start to get pushed because then they're, they're not really motorway cruisers, no, are they? Although the AMG is probably better because it's got a bit more torque and you haven't got to give it as much. It's a bit better, but it still yeah, feels yeah. super racy. Yeah, it does, yeah, yeah. Anyway, absolutely. we're going to investigate the passenger facilities. Go is, get is that coffee just, at least. I think I worry that's just the toilet. I hope not. Mind you, knowing you, it probably is. He booked it. If I had a box, it would have been luxury five star. Because it's so rich. <laughs> Buy that. Look, no, well, no, no, I, I nearly, I nearly did. Oh. But look, the best car out on the market today. What they put it up against? Where's the section? What's that up against? The 911 Carrera. Why don't we buy it and then talk about it on the podcast? Good idea. You know, I hate the seat. You don't like the sea? I hate the sea. Can't, can't you swim? Chris Hallett, please contact guest services for an outside telephone. I thought they might be saying we're sinking. <laughs> Are you really that bad? Hating the sea means I hate boats. Really? We're on a boat. Like, seriously? Yeah, and, and we've picked that view. Which I've actually chosen in case of icebergs. 
because I don't know if you've seen the film Titanic, but I've that's what they times. sneak up on you. They yeah, sneak up on you. Not in the Irish Sea. How do you know? How do you know? Or a whale? What if a whale just went? <laughs> Will there be any sharks? Probably. There's always sharks. I think it's the sea. Mate, I feel like we're rocking a lot. We haven't moved, mate. No, but it's a rough sea today. I mean, I, I'm not great in the sea because I'm not a strong swimmer. I always think that if I fell in there, I'd be dead. Are you a good swimmer? I'm not good enough swimmer to swim in the sea. I could swim in a pool, like a paddling pool. <laughs> anyway, we are going to try and uh, we'll probably have a few drinks to <laughs> calm on. Yeah, a lot. <laughs> yeah, a lot. <laughs> uh, find some food, and then I want to chat as to why, firstly, we put some fresh tyres on brand new cars, uh, but also why we bought the GT3 RS and the AMG GTR. But but food first, as always. I think so. Yeah. Oh, Stop. I do like the baby tying the things I do like the baby tying the things I do like to stroll upon the prom, okay. prom, prom Where the brass band play Siddly on, on, on I'm going to be honest, Tony made me upgrade us to Stenner Plus. He said that he refused to sit with the commoners, so we're in this like super nice lounge. Now tell the St truth. Stenner, Stenner Plus lounge. Um, and we just had a really, really delicious lunch. We had a lovely lunch. I'm glad you made us do this. <laughs> um, anyway, let's get into it. I want to talk about it. Firstly, why have we fit new tyres? Apart from the hashtag, have you seen the campaign by the way? Hilarious, Hashtag yeah. Tony please no punctures. Um, but apart from that, we also fit new tyres to yeah, your new cars yeah. because... I like drifting. Yeah. <laughs> you had done some considerable wear to both. Uh, yeah. The RS has a thousand miles on it and I didn't need fresh tyres but it's pretty good that you've got some. Yeah. Uh, anyway. That was Devon. That was Devon, yeah. Devon you would have done a supercar driver. And we might, if it rains in Ireland, yeah. we'll do some skids in the GTR. Because that's just the right thing to do. Because I haven't really skidded that car a lot. I've been and that's an a skiddy car, I would have thought. It's Hashtag MG. Yeah, yeah. Um, Even you'll be able to skid that. <laughs> <laughs> don't, get, don't get excited. There's no guarantees. <laughs> uh, but okay, so so on top of that, let's also discuss why we've bought the GT3 RS and the AMG GTR. Because, okay. because apart from their price tag, they're actually quite different. They're very different. Yeah. Mm. Uh, they're not compatible. <laughs> we don't really have an explanation, do we? <laughs> not at the moment. Why didn't we bring the Performante? All three are not, although they're all track cars, I don't think they're all comparable. They're very, very they're all on similar, levels. but very different at the same yeah. time. It, for me, the most interesting comparison about this is the fact that the GT3 RS and the MG GT R are of a similar price, around one hundred and fifty, sixty thousand pounds if you could get it new from factory. That's the only comparison, I think. And therefore, I spoke there. We, no, no, no. As oh. in, like, but that—that's what we want to find out. Because <laughs> is the Porsche the bargain of the century? Is yep. the AMG a little overpriced? Like, yes. are they at all similar on track? Mate, we're going to be doing this over the next few days. Don't, I know you've already driven them, but I'm going to be finding this out over the next few days. Um, so yeah, I'll so, elaborate on what I've just said. Yeah, yeah. Okay, go on. So we've got we've got three days ahead of us. We are we're landing in Dublin tonight. Tomorrow we're making our way west to Galway, girl. Um, Ed Sheeran, so, yeah, Ed Sheeran. Thank you for the popular culture reference. Uh, we're then heading down to Cork and then back to Dublin. It's going to be a lot of lifestyle elements because we want to explore. Neither of us have really explored Ireland before, but we are going to be putting these cars. Been to a wedding head to, Oh, have you? Oh, yeah, lads, lads, lads. And a no, lady. There's a lady. Yeah. There's lots of us, about 200 people there. Oh, bloody hell, sure. Yeah, yeah. Um, <laughs> so, yeah. Let us know if there's anything in particular you want to know about the cars or see us do in the cars that is relatively sensible. Uh, let us know in the comment section below. Um, we're going to kick back, enjoy Tony's Stena Plus upgrade a little bit longer, uh, wait to arrive and touch down in Ireland, and then uh, head to our hotel. And yes. should we? Should we? Should we throw a cor cor curveball? Should we bring the purple mantis to the AMG GTR? Mm. Question, or should we have bought the Performante instead of the GT3 RS? No. <laughs> no. no way. <laughs> Look what I have! Look where I am! In the RS, in the RS. Oh. Now, I'm going to hold my judgment on these two cars until the end of this trip. Obviously, Tony spent a lot of time in both, so he's already kind of predetermined his position on them, but. I'm a bit confused as to which I'm going to like the most by the end. I th Surely it's going to be this, but I'm not... Oh, I don't know. It's... Oh, my Porsche love affair. The thing is, all of this is very familiar because of my Cayman. Anyway, let's... Uh, exhaust on. How do I do that? Oh. 
Check this room out. Oh my God, whoa! So there we go, we have made it to Dublin, day one of the Irish trip. I am so thankful to QuickFit for giving us the opportunity to make this whole trip happen. Uh, we always tend to go east into mainland Europe when we do road trips. This is the first time I'm doing a scene through glass road trip where we go west and we've come to the Emerald Isle. And anyway, I'm a little bit out of breath from jumping on that sofa. Woo. Anyway, over the next few days, we have got a whole load of things jammed into our schedule. We're going, we're going to a track, uh, we're going sightseeing, we're going to go and visit awesome hotels, awesome castles, and of course, doing some epic driving. I am very, very excited. Give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed today's video, and make sure you're subscribed for plenty more videos to come. I shouldn't do any more jumping. Woo.